Well, sequel time already, huh? Welcome back, I guess. I'm sure you miss me more than I miss you. Anyway, things have changed around here since last time, so they dragged me back at great expense to explain what's up. First things first. You're not much of a wall crawler if you can't, you know, stick to walls. So here's what you do. You walk or run into a wall and hold the grab button. Voila, you stick to the wall. It works when you're swinging or jumping, too. Moving right along, let's talk about jumping. Hold down the jump button and you'll charge your jump. This yellow bar shows how strong your jump will be when you let go of the button. You got it? You sure? You don't actually jump until you've let go of the jump button. Okay, now go jump in a lake. If you tap the jump button, you'll just do a little hop. A little, a little hop. That's because you didn't charge your jump. Am I going too fast for you? Let's get this show on the road. See that little doohickey? That's your destination marker, and it tells you how to get where you need to go. Clever, huh? When it's in the middle of the screen, you know you're heading towards your goal. Easy, right? All right, stop there for a second and look at your map. See it there? That red thing in the center is you, and the blue dot is your destination marker. The line that connects each dot to the map represents how high off the ground that particular thing is. Oh, well, that makes sense, right? <laughs> yeah, sure it does. Everything's broken into chapters, and every chapter opens with one of these nifty little slow-mo things. Those words zipping by under the chapter title are the items on your to-do list, so get busy. Okay, so the next thing I want you to do is jump off the building. I mean it, just jump. Hey, I wouldn't tell you to do something dangerous and life-threatening, would I? Come on. always do what people tell you. You know, there's a word for that. Huh. I guess you're smarter than you look. Good for you. So, let me tell you a little about swings. Every time you press the swing button, you'll shoot a new web line. There's all kinds of fancy stuff you can do, but let's take baby steps, shall we? Now that you're out and about, why don't you swing around for a while? You know, do your thing. I'll check up on you later. You're fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, I'm back. For the next lesson, let's talk about... Hey, what's going on down there? Stop, thief! Well, that's convenient. The arcade just got held up and the robbers are driving away. What are you gonna do about it? Looks like playtime is over. Put all the stuff you've learned together and get into action. Swing after the car. Use the destination marker in your map if you lose. Oh, and try not to embarrass yourself, okay? <laughs> Looks like the robbers are escaping on foot. Go teach them about justice. You know, by beating the snot out of them. I mean, this isn't a civics class. What do you expect? See something cool? Sprint after that last robber by holding the sprint button while you run 
then hold attack when you get up to the thug. That move is called a sprint uppercut. Nice going. Now get back to the arcade on. You know, you should check out some of the games he's got too. Thanks, Spider-Man. Listen, if you ever want to play some games, come on by. It's on the house. Bring up your zoom map for a second, would you? Great. This map is real useful. You can see destination markers and all kinds of other useful locations on it. Check it out when you get lost. But you'll never get lost. I know you. A destination marker for the first Spidey store just appeared. Go buy the speed upgrade, then we'll move on. And if you won't, then I'm done. Thank <laughs> you.